Hey guys, I'm Nilima. Welcome to my channel about technology. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the various types of networks, LAN, MAN, and WAN, and the difference between them. So let's get started. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about the different types of network that are LAN, MAN, and WAN, and the difference between them. So before understanding the types of network, we must know what is a network. A network is a linked group of autonomous computers. Two computers are said to be interconnected if they are capable of exchanging information. Now why we need a network? Many organizations already have a substantial number of computers often located far apart. For example, a company with many offices may have computers at each location to keep a track of customer orders, monitor sales, and do the local payroll. Previously, each of these computers may have worked in isolation from others. But at some point, management decided to connect them to gather information about entire company. So by connecting these computers, the employees of the company can share the company-wide information which will ultimately improve the communication between them. It will help them in sharing the resources as well, such as printers, scanners, which will decrease the additional cost of buying the equipments for each computer. If the computers are connected, it can also be used for sharing the storage. As in a network, one can access the file from another machine residing on the network. It also increases the reliability. For example, a file have copies on one or two different machines. So if one of them is unavailable, the other copies could also be used. And it is beneficial for the long distance communication also. Now guys, let's understand the first type of network that is local area network. LAN is a data network that covers a small geographical area. These are the privately owned network and covers a single building or campus of up to a few kilometers in size. It provides high speed of transmission. Conventional LANs run at speed of 10 Mbps to 100 Mbps and have a low delay and make very few errors. Newer LANs operate up to 10 Gbps speed. LANs are mainly used to connect personal computers and workstations in homes, offices and factories to share resources and exchange information. LANs are distinguished from other kinds of networks by three characteristics, where the first is the size of the network, second is the transmission technology it uses, and the third is the topology. It uses twisted pair and coaxial cables, and cables that are used by telephone companies in rural areas. The confinement of LAN within a small area eliminates the issues like Longer propagation delays, which means the worst case transmission time is bounded and known in advance. This also helps in simplifying the network management. The popular topologies used in LAN are bus and ring, which differ from each other because bus topology uses arbitration mechanism to resolve conflicts when two or more machines wants to transmit simultaneously. While in ring topology, each bit propagates around its own. It does not employ any rule for arbitrating simultaneous access to the ring. The information passed over a LAN is controlled by a set of protocols such as Ethernet, FDDI and token ring. This diagram shows a typical example of local area network. Where building 1 and building 2 shows the different LAN segments which are connected by a bridge and as we know bridge is used to connect different LAN segments. The first LAN segment have used the bus topology and the second LAN segment has used the ring topology. The second type of network is metropolitan area network. It covers large physical area as compared to LAN but smaller than WAN. It is maintained by single operating entity such as government offices, healthcare systems and other type of large organization or corporation. MAN allows communication over large geographical area with the help of protocols such as ATM, FDDI, fast ethernet, etc. The feasibility of MAN networks would not be possible without the availability of high speed networks such as metro ethernet or FDDI optical network. MAN is slower than LAN but faster than WAN. 
द प्रोपोकेशन डिले ऑफ मैन इज ग्रेटर देन लैंड हैवर इट इज अ बेटर सोल्यूशन देन कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन लैंड ओवर अ वैन बिकॉज इट डू नॉट रिलाय ऑन राउटिंग टू डिसाइफर एंड अलाउ कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रोटोकॉल टाइप्स बिटवीन वेरियस एरिया नेटवर्क इट ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड कंट्रोल ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम एंड पॉइंट टू एंड पॉइंट द डेटा इन मैन इज हार्ड टू स्नूप बिकॉज इट यूज फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स केबल फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स अलाउ द नेटवर्क टू स्ट्रेच ओवर सेवरल किलोमीटर्स विच मेड एक्सटेंडेड नेटवर्क मोर फ्लेक्सीबल फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल डज नॉट एमिट एनी रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी इंटरफेरेंस वेन डेटा इज ट्रांसमिटेड ऑन द केबल दिस इज वाई द डेटा ट्रांसमिटेड ओवर अ फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल कैन नॉट बी स्नूब्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ एनी रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी डिटेक्टर एज कॉपर वायर्स कैन दिस इज द टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ मैन नेटवर्क विच कनेक्ट वन सिटी नेटवर्क टू अनदर सिटी नेटवर्क Earlier public switch telephone network were mainly used for interconnecting the lands within the city which means that for creating a man network previously public switched telephone network was used it was capable of supporting the packet based exchange of data but the bandwidth of the telephone network was already under heavy demand from circuit switched noise and the telephone exchange were not designed to handle such fluctuating traffic so as the technology evolved certain modifications were made on the transmission medium which introduced the concept of fiber optic cable after which we started using single mode fiber optic cable in place of public switched telephone network so now we use internet exchange as a substitution for telephone exchange which connects two different networks residing in different cities now let's understand what is a wide area network it covers the largest geographic area among land man and wan which can include country or even a continent also it contains a collection of machines or hosts intended for running user application programs the hosts are connected by communication subnet which are owned by customers for example people's personal computers whereas the communication subnet is typically owned and operated by a telephone company or internet service provider the job of the subnet is to carry messages from host to host just as the telephone system carries words from speaker to listener so it is a part of a proprietary network but commonly we use it as a public network in most wide area networks the subnet consists of two distinct components transmission lines and switching elements transmission line move bit between machines and the switching element are the specialized computers that connect three or more transmission lines the transmission lines can be made up of copper wire optical fiber or even a radio transmission line router is the electronic device which is used as a switching elements in these networks it uses protocols such as tcp ip for data delivery wan uses networking protocols to deliver data from end point to end point a wan also ensures that the addressing of the end points is maintained so it knows where data needs to go to reach its intended destination some communication protocols that are used on wan to handle the transmission of data include asynchronous transfer mode that is atm frame relay packet over sonnet that is pos and x.25 the most widely used and available wan standards are pos and isdn and frame relay wan network may introduce some issues such as noise and greater propagation delay it uses the principle of store and forward or packet switched subnet which implies that when a process on some host has a message to be sent to a process on some other host the sending host first cuts the message into packets each one bearing its number in in the sequence then these packets are then injected into the network one at a time in quick succession It also uses routing algorithms for delivering these packets from one point to another. The shown diagram is a typical example of WAN network where a country network is connected to some city network existing in some other country which are connected with the help of internet routers. Internet is the best example for a WAN network. Now let's see the differences between LAN, MAN and WAN with the help of a comparison chart. LAN stands for local area network. 
MAN stands for Metropolitan Area Network, while WAN stands for Wide Area Network. LAN is a network that connects a group of computers in a small geographical area. On the other hand, MAN covers a relatively large region such as cities and towns, while WAN spans large locality and connects countries together. LAN is a private network. On the other hand, MAN is a private or public network. WAN is also a private or public network. The design and maintenance of LAN is easy, while in case of MAN and WAN, it is very difficult. Propagation delay produced by LAN network is very short, while in MAN networks, it is moderate, whereas in WAN networks, it's very long. Speed of LAN is high, speed of LAN is moderate, while speed of WAN is low. Fault tolerance in MAN and WAN is less than a LAN. Because in LAN, we know the worst case transmission time in advance. But in MAN and WAN, it's quite hard to assume the worst case transmission time. The congestion in LAN is less as against in MAN and WAN it is more. Because we know that in LAN, very less devices are connected. While in MAN and WAN, there are several devices are connected with each other which increases the traffic and as a result congestion is also increased. LAN is used in college, school, offices, in hospitals, etc. while MAN is used to connect small towns and cities. On the other hand, WAN is used for connecting countries or even continent. LAN allows single pair of devices to communicate. In contrast, MAN allows the simultaneous interaction between multiple computers. As against WAN allows a huge group of computers to communicate at the same time. So guys, this is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please guys don't forget to like, review and share the video. Click the subscribe button and enable the notifications with the bell icon so that you won't miss any future videos. If you have any doubts, please comment us in the comment section below. And for understanding the topic in detail, you can visit our official website that is techdifferences.com whose links will be provided in the description below.